Love you. Oh, I love so much that y'all are giving me video ideas and things that y'all want to see. But I really hate the fact that everything y'all want to see is college related because it's literally so boring. Like there's nothing. Maybe it's just the college I picked. Like maybe it's me, maybe I'm the problem, maybe I'm the drama, but college is just not all that for me. Like it's fun, it's cool. I have my nights where I'm like, oh yeah, this is the life. But for the most part, y'all, like it's nothing. Hey y'all, it's Kiana Marie here with another video. And today, you can already tell by the title, I'm gonna be telling you guys things that nobody told me about college. So for those of y'all that don't know, I'm a freshman in college at Lindenwood University, which is located in St. Charles, Missouri. Ciao! Look, all I gotta say is, if you wanna see what college is really like, like very realistically, I would really suggest you click the link in my description box to go watch this video. It's the last video I posted a week in my college life. Of course, I plan to do more of these, but I don't know, I gotta find a week where I'm actually doing something, cause for the most part, I'm not doing nothing. But yeah, I posted this little question box on my Instagram telling y'all to ask me questions and things that y'all wanna know and that y'all wanna hear about. I'm gonna answer those first and then I'm gonna give y'all like 10 things that I never knew about college that I had just learned once I got here. Okay, the first question I'm gonna answer says, do you recommend the college you attend and what would you rate it? Um, so as a person of color, <laughs> let me just say that if you are looking for the full black college experience, I would suggest you go to a HBCU. Now, the I'm not even going to say the issue that I was having with, <laughs> I can't say that. I chose to come to this PWI um, because it's closer to home. I didn't want to go too far because I just had too much going on at home and I just didn't want to be far away, at least not in this stage. Like, I still have time to transfer if I want to go to a school further and at this point I'm considering it, but when I was deciding on colleges, I just knew that I didn't want to be too far from home. And the school that I go to now is like 30 minutes away from my house. So I really chose it for conveniency and because I know a couple of people that have actually graduated from this school and they all said great things about it. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad college. It's not, it, well, there are a few icks that I have, but for the most part, it's a great environment. You can meet all types of people. Um, I don't know, it's a really positive atmosphere. Like I, can, I can't really say anything truly dark and negative about this school like it's really not bad it's just a couple things that i wish that i could have for my college experience that i have not experienced here that's not necessarily a bad thing just something that i would prefer but no it's a, it's a cool school and um i would recommend it to these people <laughs> if you want the full black college experience go to an hbcu because you're not gonna get it at a pwy i thought feeling drove but yeah there's that i was actually not gonna answer this question because i feel like she was trying to be funny but i'm gonna answer it um i couldn't tell you i don't know i haven't i haven't <laughs> i couldn't tell you i don't know you could pro i'll probably ask one of my friends for you because they they about that life but i'm not so i don't know everybody that i've met here is a female except for like two to three people but they're the homies they're the gang so i don't know if you have to rate college what's the rating man i rate it i rate college a six out of ten because honestly it's just like high school like the only major differences is the fact that you live on campus and that's it other than that and you kind of you make your own schedule but other than that it's literally just like high school there's drama there's mess like honestly it's nothing college is not anything that i haven't already experienced in my opinion like my college experience is it's just regular it feels like day-to-day -day life it's, it feels like i moved into a new neighborhood and i'm going i'm in high school and i got my own place and i got a roommate like that's how it feels it don't feel like nothing special like how the movies make it sick you know um would you recommend college for seniors in high school 
uh, I'm still figuring that one out myself. And I'm going to get more into that when I give y'all my list of things, like the list that I created specifically for this video once I'm done answering y'all questions. So I'm going to save that question for, not for last, but I'm going to answer that question later because I'm actually going to get really in depth with some of these topics. So how do you like Linderwood so far and would you change anything? Girl, I think, I don't think I would necessarily change. Actually, no, I would change the diversity because I know it's a PWI, but I was expecting at least some diversity and there is hardly any and that's all i'm gonna say on that topic next question somebody said how is the food um okay so my school has basically two cafeterias and one is like with all the fast food places so like there's the chick-fil-a there's this bootleg uh subway dupe there's a burger place qdoba and i think that's it and then the second cafeteria is like home cooked meals where like chefs actually prepare now i don't want to sound like a big bag but i do not like the food that the chefs prepare like freshman orientation week the food was bomb i was like oh yeah i'm gonna go back home for break looking humongous i'm gonna have so much extra weight on me because this food is bomb and then after freshman orientation week the food was mid dry bland couldn't do it so y'all literally all i eat on campus is Chudova chick-fil-a sub hub which is our subway dupe um and a little burger place and if it's not that then i'm in the dorm eating ravioli out the can vienna sausage um i've been making sandwiches oatmeal cereal and that's that that's why i'm putting on so much weight somebody asked me that from my last video because i was talking about how i um it was cold one day and i had to put my coat on and i could barely zip the coat up because i didn't gain so much weight since i've been here i mean i'm not complaining but dang girl dang little lady <laughs> somebody said what is the hardest thing about college time management i would say because you don't have nobody all uh, all down your back breathing down your neck seeing what you're doing and what you're not doing you don't have anybody in your corner telling you what to do you literally have to make every decision on your own and sometimes that's really hard especially for me like in the mornings y'all oh my god so some of my classes the earliest class I have is at 8 a.m. And I take really long to get ready in the morning. So I'll be waking up for my 8 a.m. class at like 6.30, 6.45. Some mornings, y'all, I really do not be wanting to get out the bed. The bed be feeling so good. I be debating like, dang, should I skip class? But this is not high school. You can't just be out here skipping class. Plus, you paying them all this money. Why would you skip your class? I ain't skipping not one class, hello? Well, I'm not gonna say I haven't skipped a class before because of course I have, but like, I can't keep, I can't, it's hard to not continuously skip classes back to back because I really don't be feeling like getting up in the morning, like. And then in the classes, they don't even really be talking about nothing for real, like. Honestly, in the classes, they just tell you what you, like, what assignments you should be working on. Um, if you have any questions, you know, that's the t class is the time where you ask any questions that you may have um what else class is not like high school where the teacher is lecturing you you do get lectures but for the most part class is like a review type of thing in college you do all of the work on your own so basically i be teaching myself i gotta go through my notes over and over and over again because class is not what you think it is it's like uh, i can't even explain somebody said do you plan to pledge to a sorority i was considering it before i came to this pwi and seeing what it was like what it was giving i was considering it but now that i see where i am and see the type of people that are around me i would not consider it i would not no thank you somebody said how are the frat parties uh i don't know how to answer this question because i've only really been to two and one thing i can't say the music taste like why they they be playing all old stuff like 2016 and 2018 stuff and like them songs used to be the jam like yeah i still get down to some black beatles but i don't want to hear that at every single function like can we play some new stuff some modern stuff and then they get they get mad when you try to give song suggestions like you ain't even i can't dance to this like what in the dancing y'all them girls be in the corner just grinding grinding 
to nothing like they be grinding to songs that you you're not even supposed to grind to like girl what are you doing you look crazy but the guys they be feeling it i don't know i don't know what's going on it really be giving euphoria like sometimes i really be feeling like i'm in a show or something because what what is going on but they be fun um i really can't say too much i can't really say much because i I got eyes on me on here. Text me privately. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram at Kiana Marie underscore and I'll text you the answer to that question because I can't really say too much. Like, So those are all the questions that I picked out from you guys' um, selection on my little Instagram thing. So now we're going to get into my list. I have 10 things that I want to discuss. And yeah, we just going to get right into it. So the first thing that nobody told me about college is that privacy does not exist like you cannot have me time me time does not exist now for most people that's probably common sense because like i have a roommate girl you got a roommate you thought you was gonna be alone no yeah but like it's so bad especially on those days where my mental health is not the best and it's getting colder outside and it's getting darker early and that's usually the time of year where i just don't be feeling like doing nothing and i just want to be by myself and i don't have that option like right now i'm alone because of what time it is it's really late in the night like if you want to be alone you gotta basically camp out until midnight to be alone and then my roommate is like almost always in the room so like I, I hardly ever have um, the room to myself, which I'm, I'm not complaining about that. Like I knew what I was getting myself into when I signed up to have a roommate, but like I just didn't know that it was gonna be this deep. Like, ugh. Another thing, I felt like I was so smart in high school and then I got to college and I feel so dumb. Like I literally sit in my classes and be like, what are we even talking about right now like did i miss something i think i missed a few chapters because what's happening like i kid you not it got so bad to the point where i had to down i you know how like apple has all those apps on your phone that come with the phone i deleted all of those but i had to go through those apps and re-download a few so i can use voice memos to record all the lecture so i can go back and retouch up my notes i literally have to do that every single day y'all and some days i have one class some days I have two classes, but there's one day out of the week where I have three whole classes and they're like an hour and 15 minutes long each. Imagine going through those lectures and rewriting your notes just so you understand what's going on. Like in high school, I never had to do that. You you talk to me one time, tell me a piece of information one time, I got it. That's it, acing all my tests. I, I feel like I have failed every single test that I have taken since I've been here. And it's the fact that I really tried. Like, it's not like high school where I'm failing tests and I'm not studying. I'm actually studying and putting in effort and I still be failing. Like, I just feel so dumb here. I don't know. My grade's still good though. I still got A's, B's, and C's. Ain't nothing lower than a C on my transcript. But still, like, I just feel so dumb. And I feel like I have to try twice as hard just to receive bare minimum results. It's a trip, y'all. It's a trip. I'm gonna give y'all like a pros and cons list real quick. My top pros are the fact that the campus has good food. And I'm talking about not the chef food that I just explained. I'm not talking about that food. The food that the chefs cook, it's a no for me. I'm talking about the Qdoba, the Chick-fil-A, the Burger Place, the Subway Duke. Like, yeah, that's the good food. I, yeah, 10 out of 10. Like once I found out we had a Chick-fil-A, I was like, oh yeah. Food, 10 out of 10. I don't even need to know what else we got. I heard enough. <laughs> Um, the campus is really pretty like it's really pretty especially in the fall I was so excited when the leaves started changing colors and stuff because like as I'm walking to class there's like a path of trees on every sidewalk so it feels like I'm just walking through a forest or something I don't know it's real pretty I'm gonna have to show y'all pictures or something because it's nice they have great housing too really nice housing like juniors and seniors have the option to rent campus houses and the campus houses are nice some of them have three stories you know upstairs downstairs basement and the basements of every house pretty much looks the same and i know that because of all the parties i be going to but like it's really nice housing for college students so i i feel like that's a little pro now i'm getting to the cons list y'all the cons list is <laughs> 
it's a little lengthy. I don't know. I might transfer y'all, but I don't know. I might stick it out. I'm talking too much. Let me get to it. Let me get to it. Um, like I said, I feel like I've said this a few times already. There's not a lot of diversity. There's a lot of, and that's it. Like I joined the Black Student Union here, and hold on, because I can tell you exactly how many students are in the Black Student Union compared to how many students go to the school as a whole. It's 124 members of the Black Student Union. There's 7,000 students, and there's only how many? How many did I say? 124 members of the Black Student student union so yeah not a lot of diversity like i said and that's like that was like one of the things that i was really looking for and that's one of the reasons why i didn't choose the hbcu because i love my people but i wanted diversity like i wanted to meet people from different backgrounds because i plan to work with people from different backgrounds so i just felt like it i don't know i don't know it made sense to me but oh the school spirit mid like our cheerleaders they cute they be doing their little stuff or whatever but it ain't nothing major nothing worth bragging about nothing like i couldn't walk up to somebody from a different university and be like "Ooh, my school better than you like i would never <laughs> i would never do that i would never do that because it's not i would be lying like uh my first football game school spirit was mid like my high school football games was better than the football games here as far as like school spirit like i was so disappointed Ugh. i already talked a little bit about the parties i realize now i can't really say too much because then everybody will know what i <laughs> can't say too much but the parties are like not they don't live up to the college party life standard that I thought like, you know, like how you be scrolling through TikTok, everybody always be talking about they, oh, I can't, I can't even, I can't even form a sentence right now. It, it angers me so bad, like, no. Nah. Another con is so hard to find people to make friends with that are similar to you, especially being a black girl in a PWI. Because like, there's a lot of traits about me that I'm just so different. Like I hate to sound like that girl, but I am that girl. Like I'm just so different and I'm a rare, rare breed. It's hard to find people of my kind. Like I'm over here spitting, what? I just have yet to find somebody that I really click with like this type, you, you know? People always say you come to college and you meet your fr the friends that you're gonna have for the rest of your life. I have. A really nice friend group and not saying that they're not gonna be my friends for the rest of my life because you never know but they're not like we ain't clicking like tight like I thought I was gonna find my right hand you feel me I haven't found that yet I don't know um there's also not a good black church within a 20 mile radius <laughs> and that's that was expected like I can't even be mad about that because the area that I'm in like it's I should have known but it just really sucks being so far away from my family and my church home and my church family because like I love the Lord and I love church and it I have to miss I have to watch church online and it just doesn't give the same like it's just not the same as physically being there and this is not even pertaining to my college because I haven't had any race racial experiences on campus well let me not say race race racial how do you say that it's more like discrimination in the area not physically on campus but quick little story time just a little quick one so one night me and my friends decided that we wanted to have a movie night so of course with a movie night comes snack but we didn't have no snack so we had to go to walmart to get the snack so we get to walmart and you know how we are you know how we are we make a bunch of detours and we have our mindset on what we want to get but we keep seeing things that spark our interest so we go play with it go mess around with it we end up at the toy section my friends see this little tricycle you know like the little tricycles kids ride on my friend seen one of those and she pulled it off the shelf and started riding it and i was like you know what <laughs> this look kind of fun i'm gonna ride on it too so we own these itty bitty tricycles that's way too little for us and a uh, worker comes behind us and she was palm colored she was like you guys are way too big for that you need to get off of it and you know me and my friend we didn't like the way she said it but we weren't disrespectful or nothing we were just like okay yeah we got off the tricycle put them back on the shelf and just continue walking around exploring what we were doing before we seen the tricycle 
Now, at this point, we're still in the toy section, but we're like in a different area in the toy section. We're not by the bikes anymore. Now we're by like the skateboards, tennis ball, waist trainer. We were in that section of Walmart. My friend picks up a skateboard, not because she's about to get on it, but because the wheels had like a lock on it and she just wanted to see. She was just playing with the wheels. Like she didn't even, she didn't even let the skateboard touch the ground. She just took the skateboard off the shelf and was like playing with the wheels because there was a lock on it and it was making a weird noise and we were fascinated by it all of a sudden the same worker that asked us to get off the tricycle mind you the tricycle situation happened five minutes ago it's been like five six minutes since we had since she told us to get off the tricycle we all we in a whole different part of the store and my friend took the skateboard off the shelf and she playing with the wheel and the lady i don't even know we don't even know where she came from the lady literally came out of nowhere it was like put that down this is not a playground you guys are not about to be just riding on the equipment all throughout the store and we're looking at her like what are you talking about so my friend was like oh i'm not gonna ride it i was just looking at the wheel the lady was like no if you're not buying it then you need to put it down and my friend was like well how do you know that i'm not about to buy it like <laughs> you're doing too much and y'all she wasn't even on the clock anymore like at this point she had already clocked out she had her coat on her little lunch bag on her shoulder like she was like she was ready to head out the door and she's literally arguing my friend down about this skateboard and all she had literally just took it off the shelf it was like why does the wheel make this sound it was just rolling the wheel and then the lady was so mad about it she was like i'm not leaving until you guys put the skateboard down she so we going back and forth with the lady at this point because she won't leave us alone and before she heads out because like i said she was getting ready to clock out like she was getting ready to leave she whispers to some of uh, some other workers that were in the area we don't know what she said but at this point there's three walmart workers following me and my friends around the store all because the lady was mad that we picked up the skateboard so then my friends they like to play volleyball now y'all know i'm not really a sporty person so i wasn't really fooling with that i was just kind of walking with them at this point my friend picked up a volleyball that she was actually planning on buying and some man comes around the corner like no 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 like <laughs> we can't do shit that was like the first like we literally got followed around the whole time we were in the store she asked us to get off the tricycles and we did what she said so i really don't see what the big deal was but whatever another thing y'all i um worked at their dollar tree down here for like two days i quit because they were so prejudiced. Like, I just felt uncomfortable there. Like, I'm a really sweet person and I'm big on communication. If I'm walking into a place where I'm just meeting people, I'm gonna speak to everyone. So like my first day of work, I'm walking around the store and greeting all the employees and introducing myself. And a lot of the people there were like, acting like they didn't wanna speak to me. Some of them didn't speak back at all. I was like, hey, I'm Serenity. And they were like, and just kept doing whatever they were doing. Like I just didn't feel comfortable there. So I had to get out of it. Cause it was too much for me. Like it was so bad to the point where I was crying on my break every day. Well, I only worked there for two days, but still like, oh, to anybody wondering, you know how people always talk about how they get to college and they gotta write 10 page essays, 12 page papers, late nights, studying and all that. That stuff is true. That stuff is real. That Those parts of the movies are very much real. The late nights study y'all. I'm finna look right now to see how long the longest paper I have written was since I've been here. Yeah, 12 pages. 12 pages. The Principles of Psychology, which is actually my major. So like, I had no problem doing that. But why does it have to be 12 pages? Like, are you really gonna sit here and grade 12 pages worth of work from 100 something students? Like, be so for real. Um, I don't know if this just pertains to me, but in my experience, you will get curious and try things. Um, I'm, for those of you that have seen Grownish, you know Grownish like the sequel to Blackish. Um, anyway, in Grownish, the main character Zoe gets curious. Well, not gets curious. She has an assignment due, and she has like no motivation or something happens. She keeps getting distracted, something like that, and she ends up taking what did she take? Xanax? Is that even how you say it? Ex she took some type of pill that had her hyper focused, and she got that stuff done. That stuff is real not pill 
taking pills no but if you watch my last vlog like i said i'll link that in the description box but in my last vlog i talked about magical candy a lot and yeah i i use that to my advantage a bit because it, it helps a lot it helps me to focus it helps me to sleep at night because the late nights they be so real my sleep schedule is all over the place because i'm ripping and running all day long literally like it's a mess that stuff is real you will get curious and start trying stuff <laughs> another thing that nobody told me i thought that when i got to college that i was going to be super homesick and that i was going to want to go home every Every single weekend and for like the first two weeks that was the case and I was home every single weekend but it got to a point where being at home was irritating to me because my family's always breathing down my neck about college this college that asking me a million questions I didn't have no freedom this person can't come spend the night this person can't come over no I can't go here no I can't go there like oh what do you mean no like I literally do this I do this what do you mean no he can't spend the night all I gotta do is go back to campus and like please like oh I couldn't wait to go back to campus when I went home to see my family like I love them and those are my favorite people in the world but now I'm so used to being independent and doing everything on my own like I don't I'm so used to not having to answer to nobody and when I go home I have to answer to everybody that's so dead to me like I, that's why I need to hurry up and get my apartment because now it's to the point where I'm used to having my own space and making decisions for for me and not having to worry about what somebody else thinks about what I want to do. Ooh, oh, don't get me started. I can make a whole separate video on that. Oh, the freshman 15 is so real. That is so real. Those of y'all that don't know what the freshman tip fit, I can't even talk y'all. For those of you that don't know what the freshman 15 is, basically it's like this little myth where people say that freshmen always gain 15 pounds. Uh, when they get to college. Baby, I done gained like 25. I ain't complaining though, because before I came here, I was a skinny mini, and now I'm getting some curves to me. I like it. I like the, the weight gain. But if you're not trying to gain, and you headed to college, prepare yourself. Get in the gym as soon as possible, because the freshman 15 is real. My friends been gaining weight too. Like everybody that I met here, they are a lot bigger than when I first met them. Another thing is that you're gonna spend um, a good majority of your time alone. Like one thing that I think people kind of mislead on when it comes to college is the fact that you're gonna be partying every night. They're always gonna be with people and that is not the case. Like nine times out of 10, I know I was just complaining at the beginning of the video about how I never have privacy, but I mean like I never have a space to myself. But for the most part, I am always alone. Like I see my friends on the weekend and that's it like our weeks are so busy or well, at least for me my weeks are so busy that i rarely have free time to just get up and go places with my friends so when i do oh best believe we outside but for the most part like i spend most of my time in class in my dorm doing work because i always have a paper to write like every week i got some new paper to type up like can't catch a break but it's funny because now that we're towards the end of the first semester now i'm starting to get better with my time management and i'm starting to get better with staying on top of my assignment it took me three months like we're in november and i'm just now reaching the point where I can have everything done by Friday night so I can enjoy my weekend. Crazy, but yeah, it's true. Oh, and being broke, the money struggle, that's so real too because I thought that I was going to be able to balance college and having a job like I was in high school, but it's, this is a totally different ball game. Like, don't come to college. Like, maybe it may work for you because my friends seem to be thriving. They seem to be doing okay having a job. But me personally, I just don't feel like, as, mu as much as I want money, as bad as I want to have coin in my pocket, I really want to take my education serious and I want to put that first. So I currently don't have a job and I be borrowing money, I'm penny pinching y'all. But the money struggle is so real. And I always felt like I was the only freshman here that has that problem because my school has a Snapchat um, what's it called? A Snapchat private story for every um, class here. So like the Snapchat private story that I'm in is Lindenwood class of 27. Every weekend, not even on just on the weekends, like in general, every single day, all they post about is them being outside with their friends, going to parties, buying food. And like, I can't do all of that. 
but I just recently found out that I am not the only broke college kid that literally doesn't do anything because they have no money. Like I'm not the only broke one. <laughs> That made me feel a little better about myself. But still, like, that struggle is so real. Oh, and this is probably the last thing that I'm going to talk about. Because I've been talking for a minute and I am I got work to do that I actually, like, need to get done before 11.59. But um, applying for classes is so much harder than when you were in high school. I don't know how everybody else's high school experience was. But when I was in high school, our counselors used to come to our class with packets with our names on it. And we would just circle which class classes we want and then that was it she would make our schedules and we have what classes we want i wish it was that simple here in college because the classes here fill up so fast and i had no clue i've never been in college before so i didn't know classes was gonna fill up like that but all the classes that i was looking at with my advisor all the classes that i wanted to register for my advisor put the request in for me and like two days later she sent me an email saying hey we have to schedule another meeting all the classes you pick are booked they're filled there's no seats left and it was like that for like three weeks y'all for three weeks every single class that i wanted was full i don't know what my spring semester classes are gonna look like but i just have a feeling that i'm not gonna like them. i don't think i'm gonna like them but yeah i hope y'all liked this video also follow me on instagram at kiana marie underscore i link everything in the description box so just go ahead and check that and yeah <laughs> i'll see y'all in the next one bye